Hey, Bears fans, the 2021 NFL Draft is in the books, but hey, Chicago is still signing players. Updated look at undrafted free agents for your Chicago Bears as they have signed 12 players following the draft. I'm your host, Harrison Graham, here on Bears Now. We'll go offense to defense as we break down these 12 players, starting at running back, C.J. Maribel, the running back out of Coastal Carolina. This addition kind of reminds me of Artavis Pierce. Productive college career, even more productive than Pierce. Obviously a smaller school playing for the Chanticleers at Coastal Carolina, but look at the production. 2,700 rushing yards, 29 rushing TDs in his career, 700 ru receiving yards and 12 receiving touchdowns, over 40 total scores, and by the way, that production's all in the past three seasons. Very, very impressive regardly, uh, regardless of the level of competition you're going up against. Practice squad type of guy, running backs crowded. You got David Montgomery, Damian Williams, Tariq Cohen, and Khalil Herbert, and even Artavis Pierce. That's five guys. Maybe he competes with Pierce there. I would guess more of a practice squad addition, but an intriguing signing nonetheless. Khalil McLean, the wide receiver out of Troy. This is the most recent signing of the undrafted free agents for Chicago. 6'4", 222. There's some upside athletically. Uh, made some big plays this past season. A good red zone type of target for Troy. Six touchdowns. We'll see what the competition at wide receiver looks like at the depth parts. You know, Riley Ridley, Javon Wims, if he's still around. We'll see what they do with Anthony Miller. Interesting guy to keep an eye on as we get on into, you know, mini camps and into training camp. Scooter Harrington, the Stanford tight end. Good size, 6'5", 253. Pretty decent blocker as well. Not much of a receiving threat. Only had eight catches for 58 yards this past year. Did have a couple of touchdowns, so maybe has a little red zone uh, potential there. You need depth at tight end. I'm not sure how high his upside is or for any of these guys. Obviously, undrafted free agents. Maybe a practice squad player for Scooter Harrington. What was your favorite Bears draft pick this year? And why was it Justin Fields? Kidding. But not really. He was clearly my favorite draft pick. Should have been yours, but let me know. Favorite Bears draft pick this year. And if it was Justin Fields, because it should have been, luckily for you, we got jerseys available at chatsports.com slash fields1. Now, these are flying off the shelves, and obviously players just got drafted in the NFL draft. So our partner Fanatic's a little backlogged. Uh, if you order now, you'll probably get it shipped in May or June later on in the next uh, month or two. But you'll get it well before the season. And if you order today, you'll get free shipping. Chatsports.com slash fields1. Pick an orange one, a white one, a navy. Hell, get all three. Go ahead, pick one out today. You'll have it in plenty of time for the 2021 season. Let's go to the big bullies up front. Darion Parker, the offensive lineman out of Mississippi State, just a massive human being. 6'4", 355 pounds, played guard in college. That's where he would play in the NFL. Can he compete for a final roster spot? We'll see. Didn't allow a sack this past year, so that's pretty impressive. Gage Cervenka, he was a UDFA last year out of Clemson, didn't get drafted, uh, bounced around, and uh, the Bears have picked him up following the NFL draft. Wanted to include him as well. 6'3", 325, some tackle guard flexibility there. Probably more of a lower-end type of player. Practice squad is probably his ceiling. Predict the Bears' record in 2021. The excitement is palpable around this team. Remember, 17-game season. So let me know. You feeling 9 and 8, 10 and 7, 11 and 6? We'll see. Obviously, uh, I'll be fascinated to watch how this quarterback thing plays out. I think Andy Dalton will start the season as the starter. But let me know what will the Bears' record be in 2021. Gunnar Vogel, another offensive lineman, staying close to home, played at Northwestern, 6'6", 300. Pretty good college player, a grinder type of offensive lineman. Uh, been an un, you know an overachiever throughout his life, under-recruited, goes to Northwestern, becomes a all-Big Ten type of player. We'll see if he can stick around. Remember, UDFAs, it's hard to make the final roster, but hey, we've seen guys like Roy Roberts and Harris do it in the past. We're going to have Bears videos every single day here on Chicago Bears Now. You see the link below, youtube.com slash Bears Now. Don't go anywhere because, guys, I've never been more excited to do this show than following this NFL draft, which encourages me to do even more videos for you guys. Appreciate it. Oh, and by the, go, by the way, go check out our Bears draft grades following the NFL draft. Yeah, they had the best draft this year. 
Let's go to the defensive side. Thomas Schaefer, the uh, kind of defensive line, defensive tackle hybrid uh, there, 6'7", 296. I like his potential fit in a 3-4 scheme. In just six games for Stanford this year, remember the Pac-12 played a shortened season. He did have three sacks, four TFL, so he's got some pass rushing ability coming out of Stanford. Uh, decent athlete uh, at that size as well. Could he be a future Roy Robertson Harris type where he can play inside, he can play outside, play that defense? in spot in a 3-4 scheme. Don't think he'll ever be a starter, but maybe he could work his way up into being a Brent Urban type of player. Like the addition, and I like the body for training camp. Will a Bears undrafted free agent from this year make the final 53-man roster? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. It's tough, but you see guys around the league make it all the time after they go undrafted. Get your votes in, 1 for yes or 2 for no. Sam Kamara, no relation to Alvin Kamara, to my knowledge. Sam, if you're watching, let me know. I, I was unable to find any evidence of that. 6'2", 275, played at small school Stony Brook uh, in his college days. 110 tackles in his career, 24 TFLs, 15 sacks. Very productive at the smaller FCS level. We'll see if he can make it in the NFL. Obviously, it'll be an uphill climb, but uh, when he's played, he's played very, very well. Today's show is sponsored by the Newsbreak app, who we've partnered with here on Chicago Bears Now. And what's cool about the app is I woke up this morning and I was like, hey, I'm a little groggy from three days of NFL draft coverage. Let's see what's been going on in my neighborhood, in my community. It syncs up with your zip code. I caught up on all my news this morning, and that's what the Newsbreak app is all about. Chatsports.com slash Bears NB. Use our link to download the app. It helps us out, helps support the show, and get local news and weather updates, politics, pop culture, food, more sports sports content, articles. You can find your favorite Bears writer, Chicago Bulls writer, writers as well. Keep, get caught up with everything surrounding your favorite sports teams. And hey, if you search Bears now in the search bar, you can find more videos from us as well. Next up is Daniel Archibong out of Temple, 6'6", 300, played defensive tackle in college. I'm intrigued by his athleticism, intrigued by the size there. A couple of sacks this past season. I think there's some ability there. We'll have to wait and see. This might be my favorite UDFA, and I think he's got a real chance of making the roster. Charles Snowden, I thought he was like a sixth-round type of player. Doesn't go drafted, but really productive. 6'7", 235, 240 in that range coming out of Virginia, the edge rusher. And I think in a 3-4 scheme, he can play that outside linebacker position because he's got coverage skills. 116 tackles the past two years, uh, 21 tackles for loss, 11 sacks, 7 pass breakups, and 2 interceptions. I like Charles Snowden quite a bit. I think there's real ability there, and uh, we'll see uh, if he can compete for a roster spot. I think at worst he's a practice squad player, but I think he very much has a real chance of making the final roster uh, come September. Are you still hyped about the NFL draft? I mean, how could you not be? Type Y for yes, type H for hell yes you are. Come on, the Bears had the best draft this year. And I'm not just the only one saying it. A lot of uh, national NFL draft experts agree with me. Get your votes in Y for yes, but really, you should type H for hell yes. Caleb Johnson, the linebacker out of Houston Baptist, a cool story coming out of FCS HBU. Really good in 2019. I put his 2019 stats up because in 2020 he only played in like four games. 104 tackles that season, 11 TFLs, six sacks. I like it. He's undersized, 6'2", 220, but in today's NFL, you can get by at that size. Uh, we'll see if he has enough athleticism and ability to stick around. The Bears did add a cornerback as well, one Deontay Ruffin out of Western Kentucky. Decent size, 5'11", 185, couple of interceptions, 10 pass breakups in 2020. Had nine pass breakups the year before, so he does have some coverage skills, some ball skills. The one thing the Bears weren't really able to do in the draft is to draft a legitimate, you know, up, you know, big-time upside corner, although I do like Thomas Graham. I think he does have some upside. More competition in the secondary is a very good thing for Chicago. We'll see if Ruffin can be one of those guys. So what has been your favorite UDFA signing so far? These are the guys so far as guys as uh, more guys sign. We'll keep you guys up to date here on Chicago Bears now. But get your votes in. Favorite UDFA signing so far.